Did you order a mug? Yeah, let me have a 7-Up. Uh, <laughs> Hey, look, all I want is a seven up, okay? Oh, I get it! You got the hangover, right? Well, I got just the thing, a love it, Lulo. One shot of egg, a shot of tequila, one bowl of dust, and one dead cat. How's that sound? Hey, look, I don't have a hangover, and if I did, I wouldn't be interested in your quack remedies. Now, all I want is a seven up. You got that? You understand? Oh, well, shit my mouth! Hey, you're one of those, right? Like my aunt. You know, I think it's great. She stayed dry for seven years, and she died sober. You can do it, Tony. Hey, you got it all wrong. I'm not one of those. You've got a reputation to keep here. I really support you. You know, you and I have done more of our feelings out there all the time. Don't you know that? Never touch it again. You know, Joe, our owner? Yes, I do. is happening in more and more everyday situations. Yes, friends, you no longer need to go down to your favorite video arcade or the corner 7-Eleven to play the game, which is sweeping America, Space Invaders. Play it in your favorite department store. And what may I help you with today? Oh, nothing, thank you. I'm just looking. Are you looking for a particular color? No, thank you, really. I'm, I'm just yes. looking. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, who's got a particular smile? I'm really fine, thank yes. you. I'm just looking. Thank you. Thank what about a particular style? I'm really okay. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. Just looking. Well, perhaps you want to come look over here at our spring fashion. They just arrived today. But dear, thank you for being so helpful, but I only got a few minutes of on my lunch hour. I don't even have any money. I'm just... Look well, in that case, come over here. Our winter fashions are on sale today, and only today. I'm just looking. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh, God. Here. Doesn't this look just like you? What? No! That doesn't look just like me. That's the ugliest dress I've ever seen. I told you when I came in. I was just looking! I'm just looking! Got it? Understand? <laughs> what did you do this time? Do you need some help? My name is Norman! <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. This game, Space Invaders, can it only be played in a dark, dingy uh, uh, bar or some crowded department store? No, friends, I'm happy to tell you that it can be played in your own home. Watch what happens in the intimacy of your own boudoir. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to wrap my troubles and dreams, dream my troubles away. Oh. oh, Lois, what you, what you read? A letter from my mother, Clark. Ah, oh, Mama. Mother in law. Mother in law. <laughs> hey, uh, Lois, did you ever stop to think about, you know, how, how women are always running home to their moms, you know, when they get pissed off? Like, you always get pissed off at me, but you never hear about guys running home to their dads, do you? Did you ever stop to think about that? I think about it all the time. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. Pretty interesting. Say, honey, uh, why don't you put that little letter away? I mean, uh, you can read that anytime, right? And, uh, I can think of something else we could do right now. It'd be a lot more fun. He's really pissing her off now. <laughs> In just a few short moments, you'll see the Space Invaders counterattack. Mark. Oh, pilot light out again. Because I think I got to the root of this problem we're having. I think you've got a really bad self-image. But I can deal with it, you know? Now, maybe you ought to start reading some of those books like those uh, Women's Lib, uh, Betty Freeman, Female Mysteries. Clark! It's Betty for Dan, the Feminine Mystique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what. You know, take some of those Women's Lib, uh, what, uh, consciousness raising things, you know, to get your, whatever they do to you. Because, honey, we got to fix this up, because I'm telling you, this is really driving me crazy. Clark! Clark! You are driving me crazy. 
I am sitting here quietly trying to read a letter from my mother. I want to read this letter from my mother. You are enemy me to death. Every time I have a quiet, quiet, personal little moment, you come running in trying to solve my problems. Clark, I don't have any problems. You have the problems. But, but, but. I'm going to the living room, Clark. I need my space! So as you can see, people all over the galaxy are playing the game which has taken intergalactic battles and putting them into interpersonal relationships. But then you are, I'm going home to Dad. <laughs>